beautiful day Sunday finally got out of the single digits here we're about 25 degrees and it feels like a heat wave tell you but uh warming up the Cabelco this pile of material will be repurposed we are gonna deliver it to the next town over for a motocross track so I'm be today just breaking this up see how frozen it is it's got to be frozen I know I put all this stuff in wet and then it got rain so just gonna break it up get my machine leveled up there and uh, we'll be running it with the sterling and uh, he wants like 12 loads so we'll see what we can do
so the piles broke up pretty good you can see there's a foot of frost in the see those big chunks have been breaking up that was because we put it in so wet when i dumped it off then the rain went in also and froze frost goes in piles super fast and then uh this pile is pretty hard it's been sitting there a while so i didn't even mess with that but we won't have to get into that and this is great material for a motocross track let me tell you it's topsoil clay mixed good packing material and uh no rocks you know Right, guys that's load one gonna catch the waters uh going through a field over here and uh it's 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 on a side hill a little bit so it, it get, gets wet so we'll see it's been cold the last couple days that's why we're doing it now but uh it's supposed to be 40 high 40s tomorrow and we'll be trucking tomorrow christmas eve the old holiday trucking so we'll see how it works out hopefully we won't get stuck all right, guys, here on site, he's got a snow pod, so that frost is hopefully going down in the ground here. And uh, we'll be coming in here. And this whole area down there is where the motocross is. He's got it marked out where I got to dump. I got to do like four for a tabletop, another four there, and then two, and then two. So 12 loads total. I'll put you on the wheels to see if we sink.
two. So far the ground's holding up all right. This is low three leaving. Not good, we're in trouble. We might roll this prick. This might be going down. Oh boy. I can't dump it like this. We're in trouble now. We are in trouble. There ain't no way I'm gonna dump this off. Well, I'm in the backhoe. I'm gonna ride the roads to uh where this dump truck is, it's about 10, 15 minutes in a car, or about 10 minutes in a car, so it's gonna take me 20 or half hour in this backhoe, but it's the only way I got it, and I don't even think this backhoe is gonna do it. I may have to scoop all the dirt out, I don't know, but this is very frustrating. It wasn't even gonna take this project because of the grounds it was on. Uh, but yeah, discouraged, just hopefully when I get there, the dump truck's not on the side, because it's slinking. <laughs> Oh, thank God for barn doors, huh? We got the barn door open on this. I'll take the hoe and uh, start scooping this out. Hope you wanted to jump here.
scooped out. He's gonna try to pull me out, but that back hose already spinning. It's not gonna work. He's already spinning. Yeah, and I'm spinning. I'm gonna dump this load out. I'm confident there's enough out that I can dump this out the rest of the way without going over. Might even lift the back of the truck up with that pile up against it. All right, guys, here's the deal. This truck didn't give me any warning of me getting stuck it just went boom and the whole left side was down in the ground like as if it fell through ice so I knew there was blue clay in this area so I didn't know how deep that bottom was or where there was a hard spot so when trucks do that and then the right side is perfectly not sinking at all they start to creep and over time they could go over so I wasn't sure I wasn't gonna take no chances that's why I rushed and got the backhoe and tried to get that load out to stabilize it but yeah I just wasn't sure on uh, what this truck was gonna do, you know? And there was no way I was gonna dump it out with it like that. If the ground was solid and I was leaning like that, sometimes I take the chance, but with that sinking on the left, you never lift that box, you're going over no matter what. So we got the plan, the backhoe on the back, got the dirt off, we got a dually here, and then another Ford, both diesels gonna pull us out. Got a long strap, a bunch of chains. Gonna see what's gonna happen here. I'm stuck good though. I can give you that. These guys don't realize the weight of these trucks, but I do. That didn't work, so we're gonna try something else. straps they ain't gonna get it all right guys we got barney here the reinforcement he's gonna yank me out going back right in here he's got a couple hundred foot of wrench pull it out Yeah, so needless to say, this job is a loss. I got three loads here, and I'm not coming back until this is completely frozen. So, trying to make some quick holiday money. Christmas Eve's tomorrow, and uh, it cost me money. Nice. So, uh, at least I'll get it uploaded, and uh, after we get wenched out, I still got to get the backhoe out of here. So, it is what it is.
right guys don't know if you can see me because we're losing light but just got out before nightfall i am out and uh i still got the back here i'm gonna come back tomorrow on christmas eve grab that back home and uh smooth some things out of the ruts and get the heck out of dodge until this thing freezes over more than it uh, was today so today was a fail all right guys 